YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today is a very windy day as you've seen right before, so I have to do the intro again. So today we're gonna review the new S5 PD because with such a windy day, I thought it's a perfect day to find out how stable really is the new S line. We're also gonna compare it to the C line. I have a yellow beaded one. Uh, I used it quite a lot and a brand new one this red one. Thanks a lot to this mania for sending out this new S-Line PD, DD3 and FD. I already reviewed the FD and it flies really beautifully. I really love it and I'm already bagging all three molds with the new S-Line plastic. Depending on the wind situation, I'm gonna use the C-Line or the S-Line, but I'm using the S-Line very much more than the C-Line just because my arm speed is not so fast. You're gonna see the flights in a ripping headwind. So the profile is very much the same and the main difference of course is plastic. I really like the feel of this new S-Line. It's less stiff, you can bend it a little bit more, it's very grippy and it flies more understable than the C-Line. So as you've seen in the beginning of the video there's a very hard wind outside so we're gonna go out in an open field and throw those discs in a ripping headwind and see how they hold against the wind. By the way, shout out to Atlas for this awesome bag and to ultimov.cz for sending it out to me. Thank you. Yeah, again, I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna start with the Hydro angle, S line, C line, C line, then flat, and then Anheuser. So I didn't put so much power in this first throw with the new S line but you can see how it wants to flip up a little bit from the hyzer angle but keeping the curve to the left for the whole flight. My timing was probably better with the used C line, it flipped up almost flat, pushed straight for a little bit and then faded back to the left. The brand new C line instead doesn't really want to flip up. It just holds the hyzer angle the whole way and fades wider to the left, pushed by the wind. Here I try to hit a flat angle, comes out a baby hyzer. The S line flips up really nicely, pushes flat a little bit to the right for quite some time and then consistently fades back to the left. The used C line has a very similar flight, pushing straight for most of the flight, never turning over though, and fading back to the left at the end. Also the brand new C-Line flips just a tiny bit, but you can see that it wants to fade back to the left much quicker than the other two discs. On the anizer angle, the S-Line holds the line for a very long time. As you can see, I give it some height, otherwise I'm worried it could burn to the ground. Still at the end of the flight, it wants to fade back to the left and fade. Very similarly, the used C-Line holds the anizer angle for a long time before fading out to the left, though I have the feeling that this C-Line wanted to fade back a bit harder than the S-Line. The brand new C-Line instead holds the anizer angle for about half of the flight and then starts to fade back to the left, goes straight for a little bit before fading out. Oh, some wind. Um, so, final thoughts about the new S Line PD. I really like this disc. I would compare it very much to very beaded in C Line PD, even more than this one. It still has very much integrity into it. Like, it still wants to fade out, even in a good amount of anizer and into a ripping headwind. Of course, not as much as a brand new C Line and not even a quite used C-Line PD, but it's still very, very stable. I feel like it's probably the same as the DD3, where if you have a lower arm speed, but you still want an overstable power driver or distance driver, the new S-Line is probably the best choice for you. But this new one, if there is no win, it's, it's really hard to get some distance uh, with it. So I think I'll stick with those two. I'll try to have my friend Mattia to dye it. You can find him on Instagram at Colo Air Dye. I'm gonna put the text here. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe, comment, do all these things. If you liked this review and you want more reviews in the future, I will try to do more different formats, but I'm trying also to be a better player and not just 
creating contents, so it's really hard to do both. Um, I got really inspired by Bodanza Disco to do more contents, but at the same time, I already knew from my freestyle frisbee uh, career, let's say, that it's really hard to train hard and practice while you do videos because you have to think about both. So um, I'm gonna try to have a good balance to creating videos and training hard to get better. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.